Live, we're live. Hey guys. <laughs> Hello everybody again. So Amy here from The 7 Effect with George. George, Positive Property. And we're here, so this week we're mixing it up a bit. It's a Tuesday night tonight, so we're coming to you a little bit earlier in the week this week, um, just with availability, but you know, we'll see who jumps on on a Tuesday night. It could be a good night tomorrow. <laughs> I know I've been rushing here, I was, that's what I said, George, I was, I was running, I was like, I'm on my way. But I went to the gym tonight because I couldn't get in this morning. So, um, you know, a, a good excuse, I feel. But, <laughs> yeah, but we're- I've taken four days off the gym. Oh, yeah. Now George is like, he could, he could, Pass out. I'm a bit worried. I might have to prop him up tonight. But no, he's, no, he's fit. Fine. He's fit and fabulous. But you're on. So no water. This is 25 hours in. Yeah. No water, no food. I'm I'm trying to go for 96 hours straight with no water, no food. So what I did today, um, I had a little baby coffee to keep the ketosis. Yeah. And some quercetin. So I had a couple of supplements. Yeah. And probably you know thing of water. Yeah. So I did have a little bit. Yeah. Then I went to minus 110. And they've got liquid nitrogen that's spraying your body. Oh. And I went there to minus 10. Now, the reason I'm faster with no water and no food. Yes, what are, why are you doing this? It, <laughs> it puts a lot of pressure in your body. Okay. And what happens is your old cells just can't handle it. So, what I've done is I've gone to minus 110. Yeah. And then today I went to the boxing chamber. Oh, yes, yeah, that's right. I've got to share, I'm going to share a photo of that. Um, and then, um, got an oxygen chamber I just did, in the I did that to uh, build my stem cells up because that boosts your stem cells by 80%. Yeah. And then after the cryotherapy, I did the sauna yeah. to really heat myself up. So at the moment, my cells are all like wanting water. Yeah, that's right. He's, no he's not going to pass out a phone or anything because it's you know, no, optimized at the moment, aren't you? <laughs> I'm, I'm pumped. Yeah. I went, I, went, I went through the ketosis blues earlier. Yeah. Okay. And they hit me and I was like, yeah. For about 15 minutes, just yeah. when you're kicking into burn fat, you get a bit foggy. Yeah. But yeah. now I'm pumped. I'm excited. Let's do it. Yeah. This is great. So, this is why I get all these lessons on health and things from George as well because he's, you know, yeah, all over oh, all, all of the elements. Uh, after oh. this, we're going to test your hair. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to be testing my hair on, on this little thing. I'm a bit nervous. Oh, we can't do it live because we've got the Facebook thing. Oh, oh, yes. So, we can do it live. We'll do it in. Yeah, all right. Excellent. We'll do so that. Let's talk money. Let's yeah. Talk money. So tonight we're on again. It's Money Element Month over in Life Design School, and I really actually wanted to um, get George to go through some of the things at the beginning of his book because I thought it was quite fitting for the guys in Life Design School with just getting that and saying, you know, well, where are you at right now? How do you program yourself for success? And, and you know, what George, what you actually did, you know. As I guess a bit of um, inspiration and a bit of motivation and a bit of I guess an idea of a path that others can follow. Okay. Um, so I was going through because I've been reading George's book as a, well, as a diligent student. I wrote, I wrote this book in 2010. So um, what happened was after I retired, I flew to Bali yeah. and got a recorder and I was on the bench sitting there, sipping cocktails in Musadua and recording the book. Yeah. And um, it came out and. Um, I haven't read it since then. Yeah. So thank you. So, thank you. <laughs> I, made I, agree with I read it. I read it because I thought, shit. You know, <laughs> I know. Sir. I think it's going to ask me these questions that I better not. I quite, quite enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. That's it. And so Monica, who's in our community, so you you've got a book. I need you to um, PM me your address so I can post you your book from last week. Um, well done, Monica. In the calls, um, we've actually got Julie as well, who's over on the Seven Effect, who is um, Jody's mum. Hey Julie, how are you doing? And Mel, who's over in Life Design School as well, so Mel's doing a program. We're live, we're live on free channel. Yeah, we're so sort of everyone. doing. <laughs> Hello. Hello everyone. So yes. we're jumping in to have a bit of a talk. Yes. But so the first point that I want to go through, and this is what we do go through a lot with our clients, is actually getting really clear on what do you really want. So your first chapter is to start focusing on what you what want. You want. So I get, how did you? How did, what were your tools or what did you do to actually just start to work out what you really wanted to come from what you, you didn't want or lessons like, like how do you okay, start yeah. to work through okay. things like that? Well, working with me is um, I was quite motivated. I read a lot of books and I was, um, I started my first business when I was like 18. No, oh, that was seven. When I was seven years old, I first started my first one. When I was 18, I had an art dealership. I, was, I went in partnerships going, we're in Sydney making lots of money and then I lost everything. Oh, so okay. I came back to Adelaide and I had this girlfriend and I was moping around, <laughs> being depressed, thinking, God, I'm nearly 21, I'm so old and I've missed my opportunity. <laughs> so old and at 21. Thought, God, Life's over. I wanted to be a millionaire by 21 and I thought, I've missed an opportunity, I'm, I'm stuffed. Oh, That's wow. it. Yeah. I'm finished. I thought, I've got nothing now. What's, yeah. I was depressed. Anyway, yeah. I know, crazy, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, 
and her father was um, her stepfather's a real estate agent, okay. and he had a thick garage in Holland Hill. Yep. And she got a copy of it, gave it to me, said, Read this. And she said, Look, I'm sick of you sitting in the arse doing nothing. So if you want a girl, want a girl like me, you've got to get off the arse and do something, otherwise yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah, okay. So luckily she did that. It was the only way that she could work. Yeah. Yeah. My mum was saying, George, do something. Yeah. Well, nah, nah, but can't bother. So I was really, you know. So I read Thinking Go Rich. Yeah. And I loved it. I was inspired. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get back into it and really focus on what I want. Yeah. So I guess that was my first big setback. So yeah. a lot of negative emotions and stuff yeah. like that. And what I mean by focus on what you want is a lot of time your, your brain can't think of a negative. Okay. Right? So because of that, you've got to be very careful when you try to program your mind. Yeah. So if I say to you, don't think of a blue tree, what do you think? Yes, of course. Yeah. Don't think of a pink elephant. Yeah. Right? So because of that, you, you've got to structure your goals in the right way. Yeah. So if you start don't want to be poor. Yeah. Your brain's all, all your brain can hear is I'm going to be poor. Yes. Right? Yeah. And that was one of the things I had. Yes. Which made me poor. Yeah. <laughs> was, um, you know, you look the secret. You look the secret. Yes. Yeah. And so programming life for success is very important and it's the first step. Yeah. But we're going to talk about the second step because the first step it doesn't work about the second. Yeah. But the first step is really being clear of what you want, what you don't want. No, I mean, we find that, you know, and lots of our, our clients will know who we work with coaching is we want to get them really clear, well, what do you want? And the first thing is, oh, well, I don't want this and I don't want this and I don't want this job and I don't want to be in this relationship and I don't want this. It's all what you don't. Yes, so exactly. What do you want? So you've got, you've got to pre-frame it, but what's important, what I like to do is brainstorm, you get a big list. Yeah. And I get those uh, big... Um, What's your those big books that you paste things on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get one big one of those. Yeah. My handwriting is atrocious, but I sit there and I, I choose seven areas. Yeah. Right? Because your life is like a wheel. Yes. Right? And you've got seven areas. One of them is finances, right? Yeah. And the other one's fitness, health and fitness. And you've got um, fun and adventure. Yeah. Because um, and you'll see our guys will know our, you know, the, the very much as a wheel of life, we have our seven, seven elements, you know. Yeah. So, so finance, some, of which money yeah, is. Yeah, something very similar. They all work very yeah. similarly. Yeah. I've got this originally of Jim Rohn. Okay, yeah. I think Jim Rohn's the guy that invented it. And he gave it to Anthony Robbins. Yeah. And Anthony Robbins really promoted everything. Has these but clients. Jim Rohn's that guy. Is, and I actually got to meet him. It's really cool. That's very cool. The guy's really cool. Excellent guy. I think we need another series of just... Telling us, you know, the people you've met, and then sharing the stories when you've met them. So, we'll <laughs> so that'll be next time. And so, you want to, you want to get the set in the areas you really want. Yeah. Because um, um, folks know what you want. Now, what happens is a lot of times we get unbalanced. Yes. And you focus on one area, and that area is up here, and this area is down there, and everything else like that. And that's fine when things dandy. But if your wheel's not balanced, when you think when you get under stress, it's going to fall off and break. Yeah. Right? And I see that happen with lots of people. So um, I've known people that are very successful, they're earning $500,000 a year, they're executives, but they're smoke like a training, they're yeah, stressed they're out, stress, stress, they're stress, always on their laptop working, yeah. working 100 hours, they don't, do. don't look at their exercise, and then suddenly they've got a heart attack. Yeah. Right? Because that's the real break. Yes. And then you've got, I don't know, I know other people, they, they, all they do is work out. <laughs> and I know one guy, he's a bodybuilder. He used to get up at two in the morning to have a meal. He had six meals at night. Well, and so all he did is work out and yeah. helps. And got an amazing one. Yeah. But his bank account was really small. Yes, yeah, right. right? And probably relationships, I don't know what relationships are. No, relationships, relationships, the relationships were not good at all. I've got some questions. We're scared of stabbing out your goals? Yes, we are. <laughs> good question. Good, good, good. What was that? Sorry, it was a. Uh... Okay, I'm hiding. We're scared of failure. We're scared yes. of failure. Yes, we are yeah. scared of failure. And being scared of failure is a very, very big thing. Yeah. And um, it's a, to do a lot to do with ego. Yeah. So ego is the biggest enemy. It is. Ego is not good at all. Yeah. So ego can get you so far, but really you've got to get rid of ego to be able to achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah. Because ego. I love is um, Mary Bergson, who teaches from A Course in Miracles and things, she's shared, she talks a lot about uh, around things like that and relationships and, you know, obviously how that can affect relationships yeah. and things. So yeah. she's really good things. Yeah. So I'm very much the Stoic philosophy. Yeah. And the Stoics, um, the Stoic philosophy is old Greco Roman times. So mm -hmm. this is over 2,000 years old. Yeah. And these guys, 
And you look at Max Willis, he was known for the gun, mm-hmm. and he was very sound. And you hear sound like yeah. statues being very cool. Yes. And you think they're cold, but they're not cold, they're just, um, that value of things is reflective. It's reflective. And yep. part of being stolen is getting rid of the ego. Mm. Right? Because people with ego are going to be angry in situations. The stoic people are very calm. Yes. Because they don't take anything personal. Yeah. Which yeah. is important, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, okay, so we're digressing here. Yeah, I know, we do. We do this, so we, <laughs> for those of you that are tuned, we do. So do this. when I first started programming myself, I used to get posting notes and put your posting notes and have phrases about the seven areas of my life. Yeah. You're saying, you know, you love to exercise, you, you, you've got a six pack. Yeah. I still say that. So you're still, I'm still on there. Yeah. <laughs> after four days. I'm actually and so is that your thing? Do you, do you, because we sometimes have a bit of that, um, you know, and there's been some research here that's talking, you know, as if you're already there or I will be. How do you write your okay. sort of things? Do you write, I, I have a, or like as if it's already happened or are you, I will? Look, I, 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 I think it's better saying I am. Yep. So what you want to do is into. you want to put yourself inside your body yep. and see what you see, hear what you hear, feel what you feel yeah. when you actually achieve it. Yeah. Right? So we're going to pump cavity, we're talking about timeline therapy. Oh yeah, right? well, we're and talking about which, which we're going to say about time, but what yeah. happens is with timeline therapy, because everyone's got a timeline. Yes. From past to your future. What you can do with timeline therapy is you can get this goal and just slip into your timeline. And yeah. then Teleport yourself there. It's there. And yeah. it's very powerful. It is very, I love doing time. Oh, time yeah, yeah. Time yeah. I, was, that, uh, I really like that as a process. Yeah. But, so but time, uh, time, I mean, time, 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 time therapist. Oh. Got that. Yeah. yeah. Well, know. that's that's what you, when you go to um, NLP and you're a linguistic programming guys. Yeah, that's right. There's a lot of stuff. So, um, yeah. But, so, but yeah, so that, that's it. And we do that when we do our. Um, Dare to dream. If we do that in the seven elements, when we work with clients, it's like right. Let's go all the way out there. If you could have anything, be any, be whatever sort of person. You got, you, you got to start crazy. In that. You yeah, got to start go crazy. all the way out. You have to. But also, the funny and thing is, the funny thing is, and this is why you have big goals. Yeah. Because sometimes you have a really big goal, and you may not get it. But if you shoot the stars, you're going to hit the roof, right? Yes. Yeah. If you hit the, you shoot the roof, you might hit the roof of your foot. Yeah. Um, and I find it happens to be very often. I'll have a really lofty goal, and somehow suddenly I'll get it, and I'll like, oh my god. Yeah. I didn't expect that. Yeah. That was a stupid goal. But yeah. I had it, and it happens. Yeah. This happens to me all the time. Yeah. And that's because of a lot of practice goals. Well, that's the thing. I think that's the practice, practice and and not getting those small wins because it's amazing working with clients. You know, so over you know six months or nine months or twelve months, you know, and even if it was my pet. For me, you know, it was just small little silly things around the house that I want to get done. And then it's by an investment property, you know, business, what, you know, doing all these other bigger things because I build up the confidence for achieving the small yes, things. Yes, so written goals are very important. Yeah. And um, the more we do it, the better. I do my goals once a year. Yeah. And then I find children during the year. I've had nearly 30 years experience of goal. Yeah. So after 30 years, you get I'm, I'm really, <laughs> I'm like, um, I'm like the Zen master. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. What is that? What is it? The twenty-five thousand hours worth to be a to master? So, ten thousand. Oh, ten thousand. Yeah. So that's. I think you do it quick. So, I think you do it quick. Okay. I really believe. It. Yeah. You're determined and yeah. you do it right. Yeah. But um. Well, there is. There's always a system. <laughs> so, the wife checking in, calling yes. you. <laughs> right. so, okay, so we've gone through. So this is you know getting getting really clear on what you want. That goes hand in hand with programming. Just yes, yes. Yes. But what, what you want to do is you want to write down a big list of stuff that you want. Yeah. And do it in different areas. Yeah. And so, go okay. crazy. So go all the way out so there. Let's, let's, let's say, um, because what I do is I like to create a vision board. Yeah. Right. So what I what I did and what I did by Richard Richard board, amazing that it all just came up. So what I did is actually funny enough is I got these pictures out of magazines. Right? Yes. At this house in the bridge. Yeah. Right. And at the time there was no way I could afford to live in a house in the bridge. Yeah. Impossible. Yeah. Just you were dreaming. But I'll put it there anyway. Now, I'll live on the beach tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah. We're, that's actually where we are right now. So we well, you can't see because obviously the blinds are yeah, George lives right on the beach, like I've right on the beach. He's got a telescope. <laughs> telescope to I'm spy on people out of the water. <laughs> no, no, no. There's a, there's, a, there's a boy out there. And if you get the telescope, you can see the actual birds running ah, around. Yes, yes. Yes. It's I didn't want to live today in Tosco. Oh. There's not a lot of naked girls. <laughs> Christina wouldn't leave. She wouldn't leave. No, the while you get in trouble. 
But while she's not working, you know. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, that? I'll work from home. Actually. So, yeah, so we're talking about um, the goals. So, yeah. So you want to have think really big. Yeah. And you want to get pictures out and really vision and really feel. Because what happens is the more pictures you have what you want, with magazines or whatever, the more you write about what you want and describe yeah. it, the clearer you become. Yeah. Because your goals aren't static. No. So what happens is as you come close to the target, you get more focused and you realise something you didn't actually really want. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there's things you get, you realise what you didn't want, you realise what you didn't know because you gain more knowledge as you're moving That's right. towards things and, as well. And so, you, so you've got to adjust it. You've got yeah. to adjust it. You've got to yeah. adjust your goal. So it's really important. But I, I when I first started, I actually wrote my goals down. I, I read them every morning. Yeah. I had them in my car, I had them in my wallet. Yeah. So I read them over and over and over. Yeah. Now I don't have to do that. Yeah. Because was then master goals. Yeah, that's I, right. I write them down and I know. Yes. Yeah. Clearly. Clearly. clearly because yeah. I've had the same goals all my life and just only slightly changed them. Yeah. Because yeah. of that, not much changes. Yeah. When you think about it. Mm. And as you slowly change your goals as you go along, mm. there's not a lot of change. So it's, yeah. But when you first start, it's hard to remember what your goals do. Yeah. Well, that's right. And it's getting into that habit. So, you know, you don't, you don't need that habit anymore because it's, you for 30 years you've been doing it, but that's what we One of my goals is a six pack. Yeah, so and that's three days, it. <laughs> in three days on the review. Right, that's it, guys. We'll need a picture. <laughs> Commented on the I don't know if I can get there, but I'll only give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. That, well, that's the thing. And I think that's what's amazing. I was actually just telling um, George the other day that I just started writing down, it was just on my phone, on my notes. So I do, you know, have my goals, you know, for the year and big picture ones, and then reviewing them every month. I have a, I have a goals club that I meet up with. Um, and we, you know, it's keeping everybody in check. It's that accountability factor because mm-hmm. um, I don't have the 30 years experience yet, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. But um, but it was really interesting. I was saying, George, that there were a few things that I had on there that even um, that I just, you know, thought, yeah, well, if I won a million dollars, if I won the lotto, that's how I started my mm-hmm. a bit of my list. Okay, if I just won like a crazy 50 million or something like that, what would I do with that money? And I'm loving it now because the moment I've ticked off, I haven't won the lotto, guys, so I don't think that I have, but I've ticked off a few of the things that I just would have automatically done if I had won it. So yeah. that's what's pretty cool as well. If you, you know, Even if you want a bit of a guide, if you're one of those people that I think sometimes people are a bit hard to go right out there and think really big, put you know a $100 million lotto win around it. Yeah, and what would I do if I won $100 million? You have to start somewhere. Yeah. Very important. Okay. So with your goals, so, you want to make sure your goals a smart. I'm getting ready to go. Yes, no, that's good. You know what that means? Like that's right. Yes. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, timed. Very important. Yeah. So um, we also add an A on the end of ours um, that, for your account. And Amy. <laughs> and Amy, yeah. Your and Amy. So we have smarter goals. So you've got that in mind. Okay. So who are you be accountable to? Yes, we're not smart. High five. Oh, you still have. <laughs> on the bottom. So I don't have to add it. And put a G on it. Yeah, then put it. And then give us percentage to George. <laughs> anyway, so um, but yeah. So you've got to be very specific with what you want. You've got to be really specific. It's got to be measured. Yeah. Right? Because if you can't measure something, you can't get there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I guess my goal is six pack. Yeah. You measure it. Well, that's right. Because you, you, know you don't know if you've you got there. Like six of them. Yeah. And there's only four. You haven't got six. Haven't yeah, achieved that, yes. Yeah. I actually found some old photos from photo shooting a long time ago for a clear back of the year. Oh, I, 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 so this I, is another story. And, and, uh, stuff we're gonna go. I, I'll put them up in my shed yeah. as motivation. Yeah. And Christina's like, well, I've got a picture of myself. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to say it. It's not because I love myself. <laughs> I need the motivation because if I do it once, I can do it again. Yes, that's right. You know you've It's been a while. Yeah. That's why I'm starting myself in three days. Yeah. I wonder if it's going to work. Yeah. It will be true. I'll be checking you. We'll see. I'm going to um, I'm going to be doing some lives to do this. Oh. I, I, I do truth for the podcast. Oh, yes, yes. The podcast. And I'm going to be measuring my ketones and yeah. blood pressure. Yeah. See what works. Totally. Yeah. Sorry. But, that, but that's, a, that's all your forms of measuring to see, you know. Well, you've got, you got, you got, got to measure. measure. You've exactly. got to Well, you don't know if you've got there or not. That's right. We're going to be attainable. Yeah. Right? But.
don't be too realistic. Yes. What if by attainable is um possible? Yes. So it's when possible. I when I wrote I wanted a house on the beach, it wasn't attainable, but it was possible. Yes. Now if I said a house on the moon, that's not possible. Yeah. Not now. Like yeah. maybe Elon Musk could do it. That's right. But, yes. You know. But possible. <laughs> yes, but it's not really possible for the average person. For the average, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no point so, being fancy. Yes. Let's keep it real. And we sometimes, I sometimes do go, people have gone with things like that. I mean, you know, um, somebody in our golf's club uh, once upon a time um, had they wanted an in-house chef. And when we worked out the reason why they wanted that is because they wanted to eat healthier yeah. and have better prepared meals and be more organised. So we set goals around how do we do that? Yes. Because then you don't need to be in house chef. That's right. So why do they want to live on the moon? <laughs> Let's yeah. work out what we're doing. They don't like people. Maybe they don't like people. We, so we so we're going to pay. Okay. Right, we want to buy a fine island. Give them a pay. That's right. Give them a That's the new goal. <laughs> Absolutely. So yes, hope you like Cheers. Yep. And I suppose um, getting rid of the living beliefs. Yeah. Because you know, I'm really, at the end of the day, a lot of people make excuses. I'm going to write this out. I'm going to draw some good stuff. A lot of people make excuses about why they don't like something. Yes. Well, so, we do have that, yet, yet, or they blame someone else or their situation totally or, without, like, or they make excuses. A lot of people say this, and I'm going to use this, some people might get upset about this, but people say, oh, you know, money's not important to me. I don't like money. Yeah, money's right? the root of all evil. Right? And, <laughs> and you know why they're saying it? They're saying because they're broke. Right? And. and I'm not saying money is a good thing or a bad thing at all. Well, it's neutral. It's I mean, neutral. It's not, it doesn't, yeah, it's there's not no, good, it's there's not no good, good or, or bad. Or bad. It's money is just a tool. It's a, yeah. And it's if, you don't, if you don't want the tool, fine. But it doesn't make it better than someone that wants the tool. That's right. Or worse. Yes. However, don't make excuses for why you can't do it. So yeah. what happens a lot of people, um, this is very important, what holds people back from getting what they want. Yeah. Their identity. Yeah. Right? So. You know, you've got um, people are scared to try something because they're scared of failing. Yes. You know, Heidi really had it right there. Yeah. And like, um, that's a huge one for yeah. people. Of, you know, what will people think if I, you know? Totally, totally. Like, and, like, and people are scared of failing. You yeah. Because, I mean? um, you know, people make, make up this stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I know one guy is like, oh, you know, all like girls are snobby. <laughs> right? And that's the excuse. Yep. That's his excuse to, um, not go out and try to date girls now, though, yes. because he's scared of failure. Yep. So instead, he'd rather not try and just use this like excuse. Yep. Or people say, oh, money's the root of all evil, I don't want money. Yeah. So then they're like, oh, well, I'm broke. Yeah, or rich people are this or that, That's so you right. know, that, yeah, that labels on it. It takes skill to get money, because money's a tool, and yep. you use a tool to get a better life. Yes. So there's nothing wrong with it. And in the circle of life, the one part of the circle of life that's going to give you the biggest benefit on the rest of it is the money side. Money side. Yeah. Because if you got money, then it gives you time. And time and money give you more meaning, it gives you more freedom, it gives you more health if you want it, if you're smart enough. Yes. And it uh, gives you more relationships. Yeah, better relationships. Better relationships. Gives you everything. You know, people yeah. say money can't buy you love. Buy your love. I think you can buy you a lot of good stuff. And, uh, and a lot of people say, well, you know, money can't buy you happiness, but and you don't, it doesn't get rid of your problems, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. Because but. being alive is a problem. <laughs> no, because everyone in the world, the whole point of being a human and being alive, we're dissatisfied. We're never going to be happy. We're always going to have challenges. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how much money you have, you're going to have challenges. Yeah. You know, look at the work, he was rich. Yeah. And he was depressed because he was rich. Yeah. So, you know, because, yeah, so people, people that are poor are, are suffer because they're poor. And people that are rich suffer because they're rich. Yeah. The people that are in a relationship suffer because they're in a relationship. <laughs> Trust me. They're there's always, yeah, there's <laughs> the always people that are in a relationship suffer because they're not in a relationship. So yes. You're always going to suffer anyway. Yeah. So your miles are right in style. <laughs> That's right. Might as well do the, the best of them. Okay. Your miles are fun. Really. But I think that's it. I, you know, I, I do. I think really with the, the money side of things, that is one of the biggest excuses. Well, even if it's like, well, no, I can't do this because I don't have the money. It's like, well, make the money. Well. Well, no, I don't want to make the money because you know then there's you know there's more excuses and there's more excuses, but you can just do so much more for more people, including yourself, yeah. by really working on that. And it's a really tangible. It's a, it's a matter of getting that Because you know, yeah. a lot of people. <laughs> can you hold the phone for one sec? We're gonna keep reading. I think you're still going live though. <laughs> Hello. 
I'm, I'm, no, I'm looking at my wife. George has to quickly get his wife keeps keeps ringing him, no, so no, he has to wife. get off the phone. <laughs> Don't, you can work it out. Uh, but well, I mean, look, we're going to be wrapping up actually because look, we're, yeah, we've hit nine o'clock anyway. Yep. Okay. But yep. I think even well to recap those we were saying as well as you know getting really clear on what you want, setting yourself up for success or developing you know your skills and knowledge. So that's your mindset, so the positive affirmations, setting goals, reviewing them. You know, getting really clear on have fun. That part of it. Yeah, have fun with yeah. It. I mean, it might be a little bit depressing. <laughs> yeah. so when I did my goals first, I was, I was depressed. Yeah. I had nothing. Yeah. I was looking going, I want all this. I'm like, how the hell am I going to get all this? Right? Yeah. So at first it's hard, but um, you know, it's funny yeah. enough, the more you do it, the more you get again, and you build yeah. it up and you get better at goals and achieve them. Yeah. And once you've got goals, you program the unconscious mind to do the hard work for you. Yes. Because your unconscious mind will find the opportunity to start looking. Yes. So it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing yeah. how um, when I write goals, I forget about them. But they're in the back of my mind. Yeah, and true. then I'll find opportunities. Yeah. You know, just I trip over opportunities all the time. Yeah. And but I find sometimes I get to the end of the month and it's like, oh, oh gosh, you know, it's been such a busy month, I don't even know where I'm at with my goals. And I'll do a review and I've achieved most of them or I'm getting close to, you know, because yeah. it's just happened at that other Exactly, just, exactly. And yeah. like this, I like to challenge myself. Yeah. Yeah. And like this year we're going to six weeks overseas. Yeah. My goal is to run the business for six weeks without being Australia. Yeah. Which is um, going to be challenging. Yeah. It's a big goal. But by putting it out there and forcing myself to do it, yes. it's going to improve me. It's well, like that's right. now because yeah. there's no way, you, if I, without doing that, I'm not going to improve yeah. And it means you'll, you know, you'll set up your system, you'll have your plan in place, so you know what you need to do. You, you know, you'll plan for it because it is one yeah. of the goals. Oh. Um, and then, yeah, we'll make it happen. So that's it, getting really clear, getting clear on what you want. Yep. Setting yourself up for success so with, the, with goal setting. Um, one of the things that I also would recommend for anyone doing that is to um, have an accountability buddy or a partner or a friend or well, a work yeah. colleague or someone to so that you can share your goals with them because it's amazing that if you're like, oh, if I'm just thinking, oh, I'd love to do this, and even if you write it down, but if you say to someone, this is what I'm going to do this year, yeah. you've got to, you, you know you've told someone. You have to, you have to be careful sharing your goals. Okay. Yeah, well, with who you Because the challenge is a lot of people aren't comfortable with you going out of your comfort zone and exceeding. Yeah. So when I first started my business, I was working for a company in Melbourne. And I was earning really good money. Yeah. And I had a company car and everything else like that. I was flying around the place and I was starting to move marketing business. Yeah. And everyone said, George, don't do it. You're making good money. You're an idiot for doing it. Yeah. Whenever I do a really good thing, decision, a lot of people around me tell me not yes. to do it. Yeah, right. I think we and we did. We spoke about it yeah. was it the other week. It just yeah. it's just to make sure. Just pay attention to the people that are giving Be you careful. the advice or their feedback. I mean, yes. look at where they're coming from. And we, I think we were saying, people can put off your goals. Yeah, and it's happened to me in the past too. Yeah, because you know you're like, oh, this is amazing, and yes. someone's like, like giving a pin, putting the balloon. Yeah, first yeah. So that, look at then what menu will work for you. So we've got like you know the guys are in life design. But if, but if you go like minded people, yeah. That's perfect because you want to share your goals and get accountability. Yeah. There's actually a website you can go and you can actually, um, if you don't achieve your goal, you can donate money to a charity. I did that. Yes. What, what did I you did do? that. Yes. You can either you can either you either have to give money to somebody that you don't want to give money to, money or to, to a charity that's money. like a horrible, right. yeah, yeah, like a horrible um, uh, charity. It you takes you money. The Nazi party stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's really that's how they make all their money. Because, yeah, for people, people that put people stuff at their goals. But Life Design School, like that is the perfect place because it's a whole group of like-minded people that are there to cheer you on and support you on your goals and, and help you with that. So that's, you know, if you don't have sort of somebody personally that you would want to share face-to-face, -face, you know, there's the, yeah, there's online sort of websites, but there's, you know, there's Life Design School, which is basically an online goals club that you, know, you can jump into as well. So I think finding what works, so doing that. Um, definitely a vision board. I think you know. I love vision board. Visual. Well, it's the best. Thing. I've got yeah. I've said I've got one. I've got mine up in you my go, office. Go go old school. Get your get your little yeah. crayons out. Don't that that paste. Oh yes. The, yes, the, yes. Blue, stick, the, the blue stick. Get the blue stick. Get the blue stick. Yeah, I did this. I like to make a big mess of the lounge. Yeah, yeah. I did that. Buy a whole bunch of magazines. There's nothing like because you can do it digital. It's not the same. Yeah, and you actually because that's the thing you're thinking about it. You're cutting your you're actually just putting it in your own. Cutting it out. Physically doing it is really important. Yeah. Yeah, doing all that. If you print it off the internet and cut it out. You know, yes, yeah. that's what I've done for a couple of years. Nothing was, I couldn't find exactly what I wanted. So I yeah. printed something out, cut it out, stuck it on. So it's a great exercise to do. So once you've got that, is you know, set that up. So it's something visual that reminds you. 
having your goals written out, but reviewing them, getting the habits over a bit daily or weekly, you know, just to really get them ingrained and checking them off with how you're going, sharing with the right people um, that will work for you and support you in achieving your goals is obviously a big one as well. Um, and so we did talk about then, you know, on the money side of things with your goals. So next week what I thought we would go through is um, that vehicle. The vehicle. Yeah. This is the best part. So this is the best part. So, so the best for last, guys. What are we doing next week, Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday night. I think night. it's Wednesday night. Okay, okay. I'm especially flying back in from Melbourne. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's right, because George's off to...